In this lesson, we're going to put the labels on the beer bottle. Okay, so before we can go ahead and put the caustics and the shader on the bottle, we need to make the labels for them first. So first thing we need to do is get the geometry ready. So we're going to select our bottle, and we're going to hit Control v to duplicate it. And instead of an instance, make sure copy is turned on, and we're going to set this to beer bottle underscore label. Okay, so we need to prep this model now. Since we have a duplicate, we'll hit Alt-Q to isolate it. And we're going to go ahead and delete our mesh mode for now, mesh smooth. And we're going to hit Alt-W here and go into our front view. And we're going to select all the geometry we don't need for this label. So we don't need the top part, and we don't need the bottom part. We also won't need the inside. We'll hit delete that using the element mode. And I'm going to build this from X forward. And that's just a preference. So I got to select all these faces here that we're not going to need. So just these ones in the back. Yeah, maybe these ones too. Okay. So from here we need to unwrap this so that we can tell or teach 3D Studio Max how to place our texture on it. Go to unwrap UVW and we're going to select face. Hit control A to select all of them and we're going to hit cylindrical map. From here we can go up to edit mode and just see how our UV is looking. And right now everything seems to be broken apart and that's because the seam on this is actually out here. So to fix that we can just bring this around backwards. So it's facing backwards here. And I'm actually going to try and fix this up a little bit so it's more uniform I guess. It's not really going to matter because we can play with the UVs. I just like having this thing so a little bit cleaner, that's all. Alright, from here we can turn off cylindrical and then move our UVs into the space. And I'm actually going to go into my free gizmo and I'm going to square this up. This is just a preference, just to keep things clean. Alright, I'm just going to fit it inside that one-to-one -one space there. And from here we can close that, collapse our stack and we can throw our mesh smooth back on there. Okay, so before we can put a material on there, we're going to be using a mental ray material. So we have to make sure that our render is turned on. So go up to rendering, render setup, or F12 is the hotkey. Scroll down to the bottom under the common tab, under assign renderer, and just make sure under production, mental ray renderer is turned on. Okay, we can close that. I'm going to open up our material editor. Center this up for you. I'm going to make a new material. Okay. And we're going to add a standard bitmap. And we're going to use the body label diffuse first. And we're going to connect that up to the diffuse color. Just turn that on and this one on. So this button here will allow it to be the map to be viewed in the viewport, and this one will allow us to view the material in the viewport. Alright, so from here we need to select our material and select our model. And we'll just hit the Assign Material Selection, give our viewport a second to read it, and if I double click on my bitmap properties here and turn off motion to, or turn off tile, I believe that our viewport will have a hard time trying to read that. And it does. So to fix that, I'm just trying to make some room here. Okay, to fix that, we can go up to View, Show Materials and Viewport as Standard Display with Maps. And now we can see our material in our viewport. So from here, we can alter the bitmap settings the way it's placed around the model. So I'm going to bring up our reference image and just take a look at where the label is. It's about two inches up from the bottom of the ground, and it's about an inch away from the curve. So the curve's already gone pretty straight at the point where the label starts. And also note that you don't see the white on the sides. The label wraps around enough so that you can never see the full label at one time. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to try and make that effect if I can. So right now it looks like our label's around there, maybe just a bit much. So I'm going to bring the tiling in just a little bit. There's the white there, so we're going to push that back so we don't see it. Just a tad. And I'm actually going to hit Exit Isolation Mode so that I can see what it looks like on our actual bottle. And I think we need a little bit more room at the bottom here, or it needs to be longer. So we'll just 
up that a tiny bit. And I think with the neck, it's up too high now. So we're just going to offset this down a little bit. Okay, so that's where our label goes. And we're going to need to make a cutout for this so that we don't have this white geometry around our model. So zoom out. I'm going to create material standard or map, sorry, map standard bitmap. And I'm going to choose our body label alpha. And I'm going to connect this into our cutout. And the reason why I don't put that into the transparency, because if it goes into there, um, yes, the diffuse accepts the transparency of this. However, reflection and refractions will still show up on the outside of that material. So putting it into the cutout will cut out all the other maps as well. So we're going to take a look at the properties of this bitmap, and we're going to paste them down here into our alpha. So we have 1.3 for tiling and 0 0.9. So double click on here. 1.3, 0 0.9. We also turned off tiling. I'll just go double click on this again and see that our offset for Y is negative 0 0.03. We'll just paste that in. And now if we look in our viewport, you'll see that the label has been cut out fully and seems to be fitting just fine. And we're just going to scale it out ever so slightly. Okay, if we hit render, see the viewport is showing the material just fine around the edges. Okay, and in the next uh, tutorial, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, except now we're going to do it for the neck label. And I encourage you to try and do this by yourself, and if you get hung up, just load that tutorial and give it a shot.